Hi there, welcome back. Today I am doing mutations on FreeCodeCamp. This is part of the basic algorithm scripting. Um, so essentially we want to return true if the string in the first element of the array, which is this one, contains all the letters of the string in the second element of the array. Um, so for example, hello with a sort of all lowercase and capital hello should return true because all of the letters in the second string are present in the first. Obviously we're ignoring case here, so case sort of insensitive. Um, for an example then hello and hey would return false because the y um, isn't contained in hello um, and you know they've got a few examples here so um, I'm just going to wrap a console.log around this as always um, just so we can sort of see the output as we're going. So for now, we're just returning the array, which is hello and hey. So I'm um, going to remove that and create some space here. And let's get started. So essentially, because we, we know there's only going to be sort of two items in each of these arrays um, and they're strings from what we can see down here, um, we're going to create sort of basically first word and second word um, variables for these. So we'll do let first word um, equal array and then that will just be position zero. And then let second word equal array at position one. Um, and if I return first word, we can see we have hello, and then second word would be hey, um, because obviously we're using the index here. And actually what we want to do is put that to lowercase, um, sort of from the outset, just so that we're always working with lowercase um, strings here. So that's the two lowercase, and then we can see we've got hello, and if I just change this here to, let's say, capital E in there, we'll see it still outputs hello because we're changing the case over here um, for that one. So there we go. <clears throat> right, so if I remove that return, um, so essentially how I'm going to do this is use a for loop and then we'll have an if statement to basically check each character going through here. Is that sort of, uh, is that found in, in this word? Um, if it is, it will just return true. Essentially, if it isn't, it will return false and come out of the loop, um, otherwise return true, because um, then we can assume that all of these characters are present somewhere in this string here. So we'll do a for loop and we'll let i equal zero. Now, whilst i is less than second word, dot length, because we want to go through this word, right, um, to check all of these characters are in um, the first word. And then we'll do i plus plus, and we'll open that out. Um, and essentially we're just doing the sort of the if statement here. So we're just saying if first word dot index of um, uh, second word at position i. So that's the the actual character here. So we're going h e y and we're going through each of these and just basically checking is this character in this string and it is. So it would loop through again. Is is e in this string? It is. Is y? It isn't. And that's when the if statement um, would fire off. Um, so index of and then obviously we just need to sort of check it if it's a minus one because essentially how index of works is it, it goes through and checks um, obviously this character if it's in the array and if it is it returns the index I believe um, of that. Um, if it can't be found that's when it returns minus one so that's what we're looking out for effectively. So um, and if that is the case we obviously return false because we're returning yeah, true or false here based on sort of what, what's going on. Um, so we can see this returns false um, because obviously it's going through and it's saying H, yep, E, yep, but Y isn't. It's returning minus one, so we need to return false. Um, and then essentially out of that for loop, we just need to cover um, the, so the scenarios where it does find everything, um, and that would be true. So if I do that, we can see obviously this one's false. If I just take off the Y, there we should see it changes to true. So we'll see, hey, the Y isn't in this string, and, and that's where um, we can see that. So if I 
run the tests. Let's just see if it all passes, which it does. So that's great. Um, so yeah, so this is a solution to mutations on FreeCodeCamp. Let me know if you've got a perhaps better solution or um, sort of more concise than this. But yeah, this is one I came up with with just a for loop. Um, as I said, going through sort of each character of the second array and just checking it um, if it does exist or, or it's actually sort of the other way around. If it doesn't exist, returning a minus one on the index of um, return false, otherwise return true. Um, but yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.